Hey guys, welcome back to Explorers. This is the third episode of our travel diaries. Let's begin with the city of gates. Welcome to the beautiful city of Aurangabad. and we are here in the streets of Aurangabad in search of the forgotten wonders of Maharashtra. So let's begin. After spending a beautiful time in the city of Pune, yes we are walking in the streets of Mumbai, uh, I mean Pune, Pune, yeah Pune. We started our journey towards the city of Aurangabad. So we are in train now. Uh, literally, it's 10:05, and it's, the train is five minutes late, and we are expected to reach there at 5 p.m. But let's see. I'm tired as fuck. So. As we got down from the railway station, we first had our food at local restaurant so nearby. This is common in South India, but this is something special. So and continued our journey towards our first destination, the architectural beauty of Aurangabad, the Bibi Ka Makbara. Truly an amazing view to the eye. It didn't take us long time to notice that it resembles the exact monument of Taj. Before we move, let us move towards the history of the Great Ark Monument. This monument was built by the last famous Mughal Emperor Aurangzeb in the memory of his first wife Dilraz Begum in the year 1660. Although he was much not interested in the architectural work, the history says he copied this tome from one of he had in the Agra that belonged to his beloved mother Mumtaz Begum. This is the only monument he has on his name after Pearl Mosque in Delhi. We spent a very good time here in the replica of Taj Mahal or as the locals like to call it the Dakkani Taj. Later with the heavy heart, we move towards our next destination. The Great Caves of Aurangabad. The Aurangabad caves are built in 6th or 7th century by number of Buddhist monks. We observed a very peculiar mechanism in the premises like a water tunnel used for storing waters. Okay, let me tell you something. We found a cave within a cave, but we can't go there. So it's like a cave, huge cave. I'll show you how it is. They told me that it's like a tunnel. And then this water used to go there down. And th that would be the storing place for Buddhist monks who used to work here. Thousands years ago. That's what the guy there down told us. So brilliant architecture. Okay. And the sculpture in the temple are actually mesmerizing. Later we kept exploring the temple. More about this temple in the next video. Later we spotted a juice vendor in the gates of the monument. 
we couldn't ignore him as it was afternoon and the sun was above our heads After we had our drinks we moved towards the last destination of visit the Soneri Mahal and palace turned into a history museum now containing the culture tradition and history of the state of Maharashtra we had a mesmerizing time there gathering knowledge about the history and culture of this palace we moved forward we packed our Aurangabad in total we had play train a food at local restaurant a tuk tuk ride a bibika makbara and aurangabad caves a fresh lemon juice by the street vendor and the history of historic soneri mahal this is how we end our day in the beautiful city of aurangabad see you next monday okay guys we just found a live mummy inside a cave and it looks like this <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you like my travel videos please click subscribe and join me as i have already traveled over india and i have i have planned to travel more in the upcoming days bye